Well, offense. How much joke na makiyang to? Today, I'm going to talk about vaccines. Now, what are vaccines? Oh, stop. Okay, let's go. Vaccines. Uh, either a weak version of a virus of dead viruses of you know uh, semi destroyed viruses of just categorize that in dead viruses they asset a weak version of a virus of dead viruses there those are vaccines in a nutshell They are only a weak version of a virus of a dead virus. Of just wait, wait a second. Viruses of a virus. Oh wait, the vaccines are either a weak version of virus of a virus. Yeah, that makes sense. Why is it that when I was to talk about anything, I just learn English. English shows up. Oh yeah, I, I forgot them. I forgot one thing. We are writing in English. How do vaccines work? They work essentially. I don't know. Hey, I cannot do that anymore. I think it's definitely better to work. Okay, what is it? Essent. Oh, oh, yeah. It was essentially by stimulating the immune system. Stimulating the immune system. I can spell that correctly. Stimulate, stimulating the immune system. Leading it to attack virus. And get memory cells. Leading to leading it to attack the virus and get memory cells. Yeah, that's it in a nutshell. If you want it to be more complicated, then I'll just include a few more or a lot more. I mean, by stimul stimulating the immune system to. To attack the virus, then at least one cell must get a piece of antigen of the virus, and then show it to uh, ah, dang it. To a T cell. I'm not going to the specifics currently. You may see that soon or later. And in which the cell, the, the T cell, I mean, is going to show it to a B cell in which it is going to produce antibodies. It is more specific, but there are a few left. And then show it to a T cell, in which the T cell is, go is going to multiply a ton no, not until ton, it would have wasted your body's resources already, and that would not be very well. Instead of you succumbing to a disease, you succumb to yourself. Yeah, to yourself being consuming too much food and such. It's going to multiply a ton and then find a B cell. 
then so the antigen to a B cell. <laughs> I forgot to put this. And shows the antigen to, the, to a B cell in in which where why is right being so bad today for some reason in which it is going to multiply a ton again in which it is going to produce antibodies and get one of his cells uh why is that a dot there in which some of memory cells memory b cells and then there is the memory t cells to play a ton some of memory t cells then find the b cell then so i'm not really getting into the specifics so yeah i suggest you go do more research but not but not don't search on Google what you want to be correct. That will just affirm that your opinion was correct. And that will be useless unless you uh, accept for throwing your ego on what you think is perfect. I haven't done much case of this. This is it in a nutshell. Now, you may wonder, antigen, that seems familiar. Yes, an antigen test. You see? You see the similarities in names? Yes, one can immediately infer that the antigen test is just searching for antigens. That makes sense. Guess what? That makes sense. If you call them in for it, uh, please practice your insurancing by using text. Do vaccines protect us? Yes, but only when the virus is in the body. It's not like a magic protective shield wall if it is. Well, we would have been already eradicating the virus if it is. Now, it actually doesn't protect you forever. Actually, most. A lifetime because if you're dead, why would the vaccine protect you? You are already dead. Why? It's, there is no use, there is no immune system anymore. It does not exist because you are already dead. If, if it protects you forever, what is the food that the cell, the memory cells are thriving on? And they do replicate. Yeah, they do replicate. So it thrives and then it practically erases that virus from the world. And then, but it does not happen. Why? Because the cells die after you, after you die. Unless you died out of an immune system problem. It's like that then, yeah, probably. Probably it's already dead before you did, you died. Or you got some cancer treatment. Yeah, also that. The, the cell already died. So you need to vaccinate it again if you are 
if you are unlucky enough to get all the memory cells in the park where you are getting your cancer treatment, if you do, well, I guess you need to get a vaccine shot again. Most actually just in protect your lifetime, the cows, the blood of mutations, or maybe just those died. Like they said before, if you got some kinds of treatment. Now that's how we are educated. Smallpox. Yes. We are educated smallpox that way. You only got cowpox. Yep, you heard me correct. Smallpox doesn't exist anymore except in history books. And labs, I forget about labs. We only get cowpox now. Okay, we are educated cowpox, I don't know we have. Smallpox has a pretty low mutation rate. That's why. That's why. Also, guess why you need to have a vaccine flu shot every year? It is because flu rapidly mutates. So you need to get another vaccine. Yeah, that's why you need to get a uh, flu shot every year. If you do, if you don't, well, did you catch flu? Or do you catch flu? I hope no. I hope. Why cannot I pronounce anything correctly today? I hope not. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot one more thing. Do not assume that vaccines are some kind of magic, invisible barrier only for viruses, or only for a certain type of virus. It is more to a defense mechanism to a certain virus. You can still get infected if you have a vaccine already, but your, chance of, your chances of dying are very slim. Slimmer than before. Why? Because your T cells already know what antigen it is and what antibody type you should be making and such. So yeah, do not and never assume that vaccines protect you for a, li for a lifetime. Some do at least because due to uh, very, very low mutation rates, and when I mean very, very, very low, it's very, 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 very low. Yeah. Then, please just do research on this. I only did this in a nutshell, or in simple terms, pretty simple terms. So, oh, and also, you may wonder, how does an antibody cell just practically just uh, proteins? Yes, they are proteins. They bind to the virus. They just slow down the virus of better. To slow down the virus and swap it and probably disassemble it. I don't think it cannot, I think, I don't think it cannot I don't think it can disassemble it. But yeah, at least it slows it down, allows for other defense cells to eat the virus. It is really windy here. So yeah, I suppose that is it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.